Ladies and gentlemen, this could very well be one of the most important days in crypto gaming. We have news on what is to be possibly the most controversial part of Web3 Gaming, which is securities laws, as well as Google Play, which has changed its viewpoint on crypto gaming in general. If you enjoy this kind of content, as always, like and subscribe. We'll be touching base on some gala stuff, but let's get right into it because we've got some stuff to talk about. So, Google Play changes its policy towards blockchain-based apps, opening door to tokenized digital assets and NFTs. The easiest way to go ahead and explain what is going on here is that, you know, Google Play is planning on working with people and they want to support their use of blockchain-based applications. But the even bigger thing is that Google Play is saying themselves that it is perfectly fine to have a blockchain-based game on the store as long as you are not promising return on investment or any lucrative investment opportunities. The only way Web3 Gaming can work on the Google Play Store is if it's just a game, right? If there is no direct lining of, oh, you grab this game and it's on the marketing on the actual Play Store, it's going to be perfectly fine if that is the case. So most Web3 games at this point I feel like it's very important that you need to just, you know, sell your game, do what you need to, but don't tell people you're going to make 100x on your investment. That is absolutely ridiculous, and it's not something that we support on this channel. Uh, what we support on this channel is fair equity for gamers, that gamers have the opportunity to go ahead and buy and sell assets as they please for real-world money. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I don't think that's the most controversial thing in the world. And so this is really big news. I mean, Google Play is actually going ahead and saying that they are completely cool with this. They're going to go ahead and support this, and... uh that's big news. But what even bigger news than Google Play doing this? I don't know if this is bigger news, but debatably so. Axie Infinity actually went ahead and got into an SEC lawsuit. This was around a month ago at this point. It wasn't just EXS, though. It was quite a few cryptocurrencies. Why I wanted to mention this, though, uh, is because of the fact that we have really big news in the crypto space. Uh, XRP has officially won its lawsuit. Ripple Labs did not violate federal securities law by selling its XRP token on public exchanges, a U.S. judge ruled on Thursday, delivering a landmark legal victory for the cryptocurrency industry that sent the value of XRP soaring. So, what happened here and how does this relate to crypto gaming? Well, this relates to crypto gaming because a lot of different crypto gaming assets were seen to be possibly securities. AXS actually got sued for this, and that's why, you know, they've been having so much issues. You know, Sandbox, a bunch of these other cryptocurrencies all having issues. And how this relates to Gala is the fact that Gala Games actually never had an ICO or type of token offering at Gala Games, which means that Gala Games has essentially cleared themselves at least from this part of the issue we don't have clarification on everything but in terms of the xrp lawsuit gala as a token is 100 percent okay to talk about because as long and this is the clarification received if you sell a token directly to institutional investors then we might have a problem however if you sell tokens to consumers through a public exchange which has transparent records or if you just buy it on an open marketplace, right, then it is perfectly fine to do, aka Gala Founders notes when they were sold, perfectly fine to do, aka Spider Tanks notes, Spider Tanks assets, every crypto game asset out there has essentially been given the green light. They've essentially said none of these are securities as long, this is very clear, as long as they did not have an ICO to institutional investors. If it was not institutional investors, if it was a public order book, then they are 100% in the clear. And this is something I feel like Gala Games can kind of take because they don't have a decentralized exchange right now. They've actually probably been scared about it. In fact, most crypto gaming projects are scared about possibly having decentralized exchanges because of possible securities laws and so many other things selling to people. And I think this level of clarity is going to be amazing for the space. We've needed regulatory clarity and we've finally received it. I think this is going to be huge for crypto gaming projects, not from a monetary standpoint, but from just alleviating a lot of that tension that we've had for so long in this space. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Just a quick video. Till the next time, stay classy. And that's all.